everyone doing tonight? Good? Awesome, yeah. awesome, right. awesome. We have a great show for you tonight. First of all, um, I want to talk about this today. Who has Snapchat? Give it up if you have Snapchat. Do you use it? Wow. Yes. A good chunk. All right, how many of you have used Snapchat to send some crazy pictures? Let's hear it. No? A little bit. Okay, we got one right here. Okay, so we got one that says she's using it for that, and the rest are lying. Right? Okay. Um, but the good news with Snapchat is they unveiled a new feature for those of you who used Snapchat before, sent a picture that you regretted right away. Snapchat has now unveiled Snapcash, where you can send money to this person, and now this is a great way for you to, to get your reward first before you give out those Snapchats that you don't want to be able to post on the internet. So that's a good, <laughs> that's a good thing for us. Lenny, do you have Snapchat? I, I do, I do. Yeah? Um, how much are you going to sell your nudes for? Well, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah? We'll figure it out. I think as, as, you, as you unveil, the price goes up. So the lower you show, the more you should get money for, right? So you go down here, and then, you know, price. But then you want to, you might want to cover your face. Unless, you know, unless you're classy like that, you don't put your face out there, that's a lie. You know, it's like, just like the Kardashians. Um, we pro I promise I wouldn't talk about her again, but she keeps, uh, she keeps butting in. Um, so, segue, because we're good at segways. There's a few streets in Japan that have uh, changed their, cro their crosswalk signals to Astro Boy. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. It's kind of... It's kind of a cool new thing that's going on. There's, that you see him right here, he's going, and this stop is Astro Boy. Um, they've inspired a few other cities and places around the world to do something similar like that. For example, in Las Vegas, um, we have this girl right here as a go sign, <laughs> right? And then for Don't Walk, we got the, we got the guy who's not, you don't want to have around you. Okay, and... Um, but, okay, and Russia decided to do it as well. Their don't walk sign is a picture of Putin. <laughs> they spent a lot of money on their graphics there. And then for their walk sign is, oh, sorry, Putin with his shirt off, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, okay. And then last, the streets around, and this is a safety precaution, the streets around Bill Cosby's house have a picture, oh. oh. Too soon, too to soon. It. We had to do it, everyone's dad, oh. The street around Bill Cosby's house, they have a, don't walk if you had too many drinks, right? But then for Bill Cosby, it changes around, walk, he's ready to go when he puts a little thing in your drink right there. Um, so that's how, <laughs> I'm sorry. Put the, put the pills in the pudding in the bottle, blah, 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 and the drink and then the zip in the mouth. And he... I love Bill, I love Cosby, this is a shame. Uh, we have a great show for you tonight. Today we have a special uh, from Perfume Culture, Lori Smith. Um, she has a very, uh, very interesting way of how she brands people with perfume or with a scent. And we decided that we wanted to do something for ourselves to brand our podcast. And I think Donovan, you have, you have our um, our scent ready. We, oui. oui. oh, oui. <laughs> we got a little French. Okay. <laughs> this right here, this is Donovan. Just came from his first communion. Um, right here we have downtown. <laughs> oh, oh, what's it called? Voila. Voila. Downtown Chamay. <laughs> One spray for your Tinder match, two sprays for your countertop. It's also, it's also <laughs> organic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's we organic. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, we have a great show for you tonight. Um, next up, we have the lovely Su Susan Hidden talking with Austin Barnum from Mercy Clothing. Uh, stay tuned while we hear a word from our sponsor. You won't want to miss it. <laughs> Welcome to the community segment of the Downtown Podcast. I am very lucky to be here with Austin, and you are from Mercy Clothing, right? But that's spelt with like a three. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So you do a lot of really cool local things with our community because you're actually responsible for screen printing a lot of the t-shirts that our community wears, right? So tell yeah. me about that. Absolutely. So one of the shirts that we're doing right now is for Cowan Middle School. Nice. It's a behavioral school. They have a program called Be the Leader. Uh, we're like printing it. those out. It's really inspirational. It's amazing. And I actually had the opportunity to go give a motivational speech to their Aww. students 
uh, just about going to college and succeeding and overcoming circumstances. That's really cool. So yeah. you, you kind of get to see a lot of different communities that people might not have heard of and actually seeing kind of what they're about and their culture and their slogans and things like that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you said something about like, it's like a billboard or like, yeah. Yeah, we just call it, we call t-shirts walking billboards. Walking billboards. It's perfect. <laughs> I like it. So you guys kind of do the little guys, but you've also had some pretty big gigs too, which is really cool. And a lot of people will be familiar with the event that you actually screen pinched for recently, which was Life is Beautiful, right? That's a really sweet gig. <laughs> yeah. So you did some t-shirts for Life is Beautiful. Tell me about that. Like, what was that like? And did you freak out when you got this giant order? Or what was you know what? Like? Getting into it was an amazing story. Okay. Um, we were printing here in downtown, and the, the man who runs Life is Beautiful walked up and said, I like your shtick. Give me the spiel. <laughs> and I was like, all right. 30 second elevator pitch, and he was like, I want you, a life is beautiful. Oh, you had it down. Yeah, it was awesome. And you know, we just had a huge pre-order, and we knocked him out, and it was stressful for about a week, and then when we <laughs> got there, we sat back and we were like, that's just kind of a big deal, isn't it? <laughs> and we just, it was surreal the whole the whole time we were there. Yeah, I guess like walking around in the crowd and seeing people wearing the t-shirts is kind of a big deal. Like, oh yeah. Like how many shirts did you end up printing in the end? Was it like a big run or was it an exclusive run? It or? was an ex extremely s exclusive run. Okay. Um, we okay. did a shirts for Bicicleta San Freo, and it was a group, a trio of Brazilian street artists that came wow. out specifically for the event. And they actually did one of the wall murals okay. for the marketplace while we were down there. Oh, that really big blue one. Yeah, there. and it was an extremely complicated shirt. It had six colors, so when we oh got there, we had to line the images up perfectly, but once it was all lined up, it was good to go. And it was so exclusive, I mean, the total limit was 200 for the entire event. I see how they do it. Scarcity creates luxury, that kind of thing. <laughs> very, very nice. And I also heard that you guys have a booth at First Friday as well, where people can actually check out like live screen printing. Is that right? Yeah, every event that we do is live. We'll wow, screen print okay. our shirts live on the spot. And so we've brought that to First Friday because we've actually managed to get in there, which is amazing. Right, They've got right. their own little section now for design and fashion. Nice. So that's where we're at, and we're just launching our clothing line from there. That's really cool. So you have like a port-a-print service almost now. Exactly. That's really, really cool. Yeah. And so like what what kind of um, what kind of custom experience can you offer people? Like do people have to come in with a design already laid out or do you like to kind of help them out with that sort of thing? No, we have it from start to finish. So oh, if we wow, have okay. someone come in who doesn't know anything about screen printing, about designing shirts, we have designers on the spot and we'll sit down at a Starbucks or a coffee shop here in DTLV and We'll, we'll map it out with them from the start to finish. We'll do a mock-up, we'll send it to them for their approval, and then we'll print the shirts out. That's a pretty white glove service. That's awesome. <laughs> so where are you guys actually located? Like, is it easy for people to pop in and say hi? Yeah, right now we're over off on uh, Lamb and Owens on the east side. Oh, that's actually really close to downtown, right? Yeah, it's not that's far. really accessible. And you have, like, a website where people can go on, have a look at some of your cool designs, including this one that you're yeah. wearing right here, right? Boom, yeah, this is one that we did for First Fridays. Oh, fantastic. That's yeah. awesome. So how can people visit your website? It's like... www.mercyclothing.com. Mm -hmm. Remember, Mercy is spelled with a three. So that's M3. M3RCY.com. I can spell. Yay. Yeah, M3RCY clothing. <laughs> Clothing.com. Right. Okay, we can't miss out that. We'll flash <laughs> it up on the screen for you. And um, I'm really excited to kind of see some of the other community partnerships that you guys have in the future. And yeah. thank you so much for being on the show. This is thank awesome. you. Thank, thank you, Downtown Podcast. Yeah. So um, don't go away. Coming up next, we have Laurie Smith, who is the creative director of Perfume Culture. She's going to be chatting with Dylan Jorgensen after these messages. <laughs> That was like... Ah, fun, so, there's always something about a segment that makes it more special, and this is going to be one of those that really is it. Tell me where you're going, tell me about uh, what's happening with you. Okay, so I've been really fortunate enough to be involved in the podcast since, I think, episode 20-something, so it's about 70 episodes now, and the uh, amount I of, like... That. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And um, I, th I think that it's a good idea for me to be able to go and explore other things. I feel like I've been hogging this role for far too long. It's been 18 months, and... It's a good thing, I think, for the podcast to pass the baton on as well. And so I've been so fortunate to, to have been able to have this adventure with you guys. I'm going to miss my podcast family so much. And um, I've grown more sort of like 
more than any other project I've been part of personally for, as a result of this too. And um, just very quickly, Pavel is actually going to be bowing out too, so I want you to also thank him very much for his participation. Yeah, thank you very much. Bravo! I don't know. I mean, you both you both have worked so hard for so long. I feel like I feel like you deserve to be in the audience and just relax. <laughs> like we'll this stress is still. definitely aging us. Yeah, we'll definitely Spirit still be around, size. and um, we we kind of can't just sever ourselves from the podcast family. So we'll definitely be around. We'll definitely still be supporting you guys, and just like in the good old days, we'll be trying to scam our way on the show through various <laughs> purposes. Through science, anyway. I heard. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, uh, it, thank you so much for your support oh, and for actually no, having me along. For thank this you. Race. So this is a volunteer project, and everything you've done has got us to where we're at. It's a big part of uh, where we're at. What you and Pavel set in stone originally that we're building on top of. So it's important that even as the show evolves that we remember how much effort you put in. Um, and you know, I remember that this, Pablo made this sign, he made the, you guys made the original sign, right, right. you introduced, I didn't even know what the sin shop was before I met you guys. <laughs> and now you're, and I know you're gonna maybe come back on, you're writing a book about uh, JavaScript that controls robots or mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. right, this is why we got her, smarter, <laughs> smarter than the rest of us. It'll be, uh, just it'll be figure good. out things as I go along, it's all good. Okay, well I wanted to make sure you guys got this card. So it's Thank addressed you. to both of you, but if you want to. Thank um, you so much, I really appreciate you know, this. Okay, but this is Aww. signed by everybody on the team and we just want you to know that uh, the thing you is definitely to you. This is a volunteer project that you put hundreds of hours into, and um, I want to hug you, but this thing will pull out. <laughs> we'll we'll hug it out later. Somehow, but thank of, you so, so, thank much. You so much. I really, really appreciate it. You that. Model, so thank, thank you very you. much. We'll miss you, and hopefully, we'll see you around soon. Thanks. So. I think five senses we have, I don't even use smell that often. Like, I mean, I smell things, but I don't really use it for like a lot of stuff in life. But you've created a business around it. It's impressive. Well, Very impressive. Smell is like the most important, uh, or the first sense that uh, when you experience anything, scent goes right to your brain. brain. I heard that. Yeah, Just right up there, right? In, in one instant, like I can have you remember something from your past. That was associated with a terrible or delicious smell. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Or um, I could help you um, connect with somebody instantly, but that's my job is to figure out like how to create scents that connect with people. Okay, so you are Lori Smith and you have a company called Perfume Culture. Mm -hmm. And what you do <clears throat> is you take not just companies, but the stories behind a company, and you compress them into a smell. That fascinates me, and Thank I would like you. to learn more. Well, I do, uh, I work with, um, I, my background was I work with like large brands creating stories around fragrances, and I was a trend forecaster, so I had to go out and smell people, mm, like in the field. Wonderful. Yeah, so I, from all angles. My very first job was stuff. going to concerts and to smell people. And no, for, uh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, and I you just for, smell people at concerts. Smell people at concerts and give the feedback back That's to so the perfumers weird. so that they so will weird. know what to create. So I work for um, the one brand that I work for that put me over the top was Axe for Men, and I was asked to go to nightclubs and smell men and bet them that I could guess what they smelled like. And then, okay, so uh, it wasn't like a one through ten scale. It was like, is no, that? No, I bet the that... money. I'm like, I can guess your scent. And then I was some in places in London that the Axe team had me go to, yeah. and I would sniff men and bring that information back. The old spice. If I could get the guy to yeah. lift his arm, and I can I guess your underarm deodorant smell? Like that was like a big hit. Like I got extra drinks from the Axe team. Really? Yeah. I can get some on my finger, but it's yeah. like, <laughs> if you want to. Do it. I don't know if it's like. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's, that's old spice. Yeah, I that's like their old YouTube spice. stuff. It's but um, but so I started market research like that, like actually sniffing men in bars, and that information created like CK1, CKV. That's so cool. Quicksilver, Axe. Okay. Yeah. So, so tell me, what, tell me what we got here, because you've got some things. Well, today I'm smell. at Stitch Factory, so I'm doing um, right. the same for uh, independent designers trying to create that same like uh, je ne sais quoi for uh, small people, but, um, or small designers, trying to get them into like the world of fragrance. And, um, je ne sais quoi? Je ne sais quoi. Who's that, that French guy? Fra I think Donovan? It's French. I don't know. Somebody's I don't not really French. We? Oui? That's all he knows, though. Is um, yeah. 
But I also do trend forecasting, and I do my own like research. So this weekend I was in Santa Fe, mm -hmm. trying to figure out what that smell is. Have you ever been to Santa Fe? I did. I went there just a little while ago. That yeah. Santa Fe so Institute. there's that that smell in the air. Yeah, like a cactusy type of like, like woody, wood. like yeah, like woody. So I went all over the town trying to figure out like what it was, and so I ended up in a shop called Body, and um, this you just, is uh, you just hacked some wood off the wall well, or what's the Well, no, I asked everyone in town, and <laughs> oh. well. This is I part see what of it. it. Like? One part pinion. Wow, that's it. I'm that's like, it. you're that's right. That smell. is that Santa Fe. And the other part, <laughs> right? That really is, yeah. Wow, that's. And weird. then I had to write a creative brief, like an ad agency does, to like a uh, you know the creative people. I, wish I could share this. I know. Yeah. And then I created TV. like oh, wait. this in a bottle. These both Santa Fe. Yeah, that's pinion. Yeah. One's pinion, one's Palo Santo. Okay. And, um, but I spent the weekend trying to figure out what Santa Fe actually smelled like. Would anybody buy that? Well, I guess Santa Fe market, right? They want to smell well, like yeah. their city. Well, I just yeah. wanted something spiritual, something interesting, something like that, you know, like, I don't know what Vegas smells like. I've been here for oh, we, we downtown nailed, projects. Oh, we nailed that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Chame, downtown <Yeah>. Chame. <laughs> but the idea of like Third. finding like, I just like to discover like new things, so. Just walking around town, I had to talk to, I, I don't know how many people I talked to to get to that. It's one part pinion, one part Palo Santo, right? and one part like magic. It's like the burning of the wood in the air. So cool. Um, yeah, so then I had to communicate back to a perfume house, and then I created like this. Hmm. So, oh, I see. So we, I magic, took yeah. all that information and the wood, and I sent it in little, like, little chips to FedEx, you know, back to the perfume house. Okay. And I created that. Okay, so we're going to test your sense of smell here in a minute. Um, so we're going to come right back from a break, and then we are going to find out just exactly how powerful this nose right. of yours knows the smell oh, of children's nose. drawings. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We know you have an amazing sense of smell, but I we do. are going to put it to the test. Oh. And I am going to have you rate these five children's photos. Now, when you were a kid, did you did you like the crayons that smelled like things? Oh my God! I, I, the I mar played a hopefully not the markers. No, I played a game called Refrigerator when I was a kid. So we got blindfolded, and my brothers and sisters would make me smell stuff out of the fridge and guess it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna blind that's we're, we're we're about to blindfold you. So All you're, right, in, well, you're about good. to go in the zone. I'm I good. <laughs> Anyway, so we so we went and uh, we went to a um, wherever children are a, uh, a daycare <laughs> and we found we found excuse me they're everywhere children yeah, are everywhere ch kids are everywhere all yeah. all women can make them so it's just like it's a thing <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean all families can yes anyways let's shut that that's um, true so anyway so we went we went to this daycare and we had kids draw um, with markers that had a bunch of smells to them um, five different photos. Okay. So we're going to blindfold you, and then we're going to have you rate the photos just based on smells, not the quality of the kids' drawings, but just to take us back to that time when we were kids and, you know, everything smells so like a crayon. It's just smell only. Yeah, so you're going to okay. rank these just by smell. So okay. if we can bring out the blindfold, mm -hmm. just to make sure you don't cheat. I know you're honest, but yeah. it's always <laughs> Ooh. And Jillian, if you guys recognize like her as our producer, thank you very much. Okay. That's Stitch Factory a lot of times, too. Okay. So we have uh, our first one um, is by a child named Ryder. This mm -hmm. is a photograph, or it is a drawing that he made of his mom um, just drinking a little wine, just relaxing after work. Okay? So go ahead and um, if you want to smell this and just. Oh, that's like peachy? Yeah, I'll get you right over that. Group. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, like really happy kid, like really good. Oh, okay, yeah. Ryder? Yeah, happy. Probably like a good peachy, kid. Okay. Can't touch like this. Happily. Okay, so you like this one? Optimistic. Okay. All right, so we know that's that's a good one for you. Now we got uh, Maya. She is um, shoveling snow to make money. Wait. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just showed it to the audience first. Oh. I'm getting kind of like a wintry, like more of like a blueberry smell. 
Yeah, she's good too. Like, oh, you think so good? You don't. You don't have to make assessments about their lives. Yeah, no you know? judgment. But it's okay. But, like, like, you I would say can't like just smell. Smells like a four. <laughs> Okay. And ha for? on the happy scale. Okay, so like, a little like, bit less than emotional. the other, but still good. Fragrance is emotional. Okay, this is good. this is a this is a child named Dylan. Um, surprisingly, same same name, but it, they're all different. <laughs> just names don't make the same thing. But uh, right. he drew this great um, firefighter just putting out a building. Oh. So if you want to just give that a whiff. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think about him? Probably a pretty sharp kid, I'm huh? I'm not getting. Hmm. Uh, I'm feeling like. Should I say like it? Should I be honest? Um, Not, you just want to be positive, probably. Okay. Well, I'm trying to be positive. I'm getting like kind of like mean? failure. Like, <laughs> Not, I'm sorry, Dylan. It's all right. It's all right. It's, um, some people make mistakes like you yeah. probably did. Um, I got nothing from let's that. Let's just move on. Uh, we have uh, this little boy, Harper. This is um, his mom. Um, and Santa Claus, it looks like. So it's a Christmas one. Christmas one coming Ooh, up I soon. Oh, I get like pine. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, like, I feel like it's like the village over by the pop up shop. Ooh. Like, very oh. happy. Ooh, I like, do know that very, smell. Over like, at the pop up shop. Positive. So what do you think? Better than the other two or like worse? Getting presents. Yeah, that's good. Best one? Middle yeah. one or worst one so far? Uh, well, I feel, like, I feel like the last one might have been the most positive because of the holiday spirit. I got okay. the piney smell. Okay, so we'll put that one in the number one spot. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, and then the very last one we have is Charlotte, her mom shopping for melons. Oh. Oh. Charlotte and her mom are, like, interesting. Oh, are they? Oh. And how so? What comes in your Are mind? they mother-daughter? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's very that's fruity. That's very exotic. I'm not sure where they're from, but, yeah, that's good. Okay, so this one's... Definite four. Okay. Um... So okay, so that was, the best, that was the best one. You like that more than the Christmas one? Ah, I like the Christmas one go. more for right now. Okay, Christmas like one first, then second. Like okay, Christmas can we get the shopping. blindfold removed, please? Then we will reveal. So these are your <laughs> top four. The very first one you picked was Harper. You yeah. go ahead and keep that one. Thank you. We'll take that. And then, uh, and then of course, make Charlotte. i scent for her. Yeah. And then you got uh, Charlotte, of course, with the melons. You've got <laughs> Ryder, who's got his mom relaxing after a hard day's work. And then, of course, Maya, shoveling for money. Yeah. Okay, well, that's great. Awesome. Thank you very much. I am excited that you came out to talk to us. And thank I'm you. sure those kids will love the way you rated oh, all of the smells yeah, thank you. in their photo. And everybody, check out Perfume Culture. And they can visit you over at the Stitch Factory. Stitch Factory, Factory yes. Okay, that's great. Cool. All right, how great was that, everybody? You excited? Wait, we stay there. Stay there. We're not done yet. We still got to do our outro. All right. Um, but everybody, we're going to be right back after this break, and we have the very funny Matt and Mattingly in the house. So get ready for improv, because they're going to be doing what they do best right after this break. We'll be right back. <laughs> to introduce ourselves. This is Paul Mattingly. What's up? Woo! This is Matt Donnelly, everybody. Together we are Matt and Mattingly. Uh, we do an improv comedy show actually right here in the scullery every Wednesday at 10 o'clock. It's pay what you want. And uh, we're going to do a little song for you guys. It's called the Flamenco Song. That's Mike Spadoni on the keyboard over here. And uh, we see one of you guys from the studio audience uh, here to shout out a suggestion of an occupation, one maybe that you have or your family member has, a fun occupation. What'd you say? Reiki healer. Reiki healer. Reiki healer. Reiki healer. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Reiki healer. Thank you, ma'am. Let's hear something better.
Thank you so much. Have a good night.